Hey guys, how's it going? In today's video, um, I guess uh, before I begin, I just kind of want to tell you guys that you know, if you guys haven't seen this yet, check it out. The I made this video not too long ago, important stock market crash video, saying it's just some more info I found uh, about you know how how to indicate when a stock market crash might happen. So, I don't know, check it out. Uh, only one person commented on it so far. I wish some more people commented. Let me know their thoughts. But uh, if you, you're a member, check it out. And then, the second thing I want to tell you, uh, I want to announce is, at the end of November, I'm going to delete all my stock trades for October because I don't want to cluster my uh, membership with my stock trades. So, I'll delete them every month. So, at the end of November, I'm gonna delete everything in October, and every in December, I'll delete everything in November. So just to give you guys a month, if you guys still want to see all these uh, all my trades, because I, I don't want to cluster my entire member thing with a bunch of my trades. So yeah, just letting you guys know ahead of time. Uh, and then let's get on to this. okay. So this is something I want to share. These, this is everything I did today for trading. I sold some MPX for you know a thousand dollar profit. I sold some Wayland for um, I think three hundred dollar profit. Uh, I sold some ca I sold Cantrush for four hundred and twenty dollar profit. Uh, I tried to buy some New Age Farms at se uh, seven point five cents, but it failed. Expired. Fire, f Fire Flower Corp. Uh, this is something that is new. I, I saw it in my comment. I looked at it. I was like, okay, you know what? I might get lucky because this stock's already declining quite a bit. They had a partnership with SMG, so there's a possibility SMG might buy them out in the future. Who knows? But, um, you know, it's cool that they have a partner with SMG. SMG is a pretty big, well, not really big company. It's a, mid cap company it's like a 10 billion dollar company so it's okay i guess i am this uh i tried to sell this at 745 i don't really care the fact that i didn't didn't manage to sell it but uh just try to sell it just just in case you know to hedge my bet a little bit just in case tomorrow we have a big decline in in stock price uh this is a new stock i bought today uh Advanced Lithium dot com, uh, Advanced Lithium, and then uh, Nescama Lithium. I bought two thousand Cantrus at eight ninety. I sold half of it off at nine thirty two for a small profit. If I tomorrow looks like tomorrow the Cantrus is gonna go up more, so not a day for me to to sell off a little bit more for some profit. Um, I tried to buy some four resources. Today at nine cents for hundred thousand shares fail. I bought some C C T T Pharmaceutical Holdings at fifty seven cents, uh, ten thousand shares. I tried to buy Merican today at dollar forty five, but it failed and expired. I uh, I woke up in the morning. I bought some June stock at. 98 cents because of the whole Aurora news. I was like, oh, this is really good news. And so I decided to buy some June stock because I saw it decline. And then I uh, I bought some June stock at 92 cents because, you know, it kept declining and declining. I'm like, okay, you know what? I think it might be an opportunity to buy. So I bought some more. And it kept declining. So, you know, if the more this declines, the more I own, oh, I might end up owning more than 100,000 shares of June, but that's okay because eventually I believe June stock will become Aurora stock, so I don't think it's a big deal. Uh, and if it manages to keep going up, I think as soon as, I think that once they open the, the one, one of the store locations, the stock's going up, in my opinion, just my opinion. So we'll see what happens, but it's this is very good news. I think that the fact that Aurora is backing them up, giving them money so they can execute on the strategy. Uh, you know, I'm more comfortable investing in Zoom now since Aurora is going to be their partner. 
basically their partner and possibly taking over the company in the future. At least I believe. Uh, okay, that's like all my trades for today. Uh, I forgot to set my alarm clock this morning. I, w uh, I wanted to wake up before the market opened because I was planning to buy some two some American at 142 one I was planning to buy some American around 142 but when I woke up it was like the stock price was already a dollar 45 I put in an order for a dollar 45 never really bought and then it kind of just skyrocket and took off of me and then I decided to put a sell order around 154 and I actually managed to sell it around here. So, I, I'm hoping tomorrow the stock price declines so I can buy, have a better buy opportunity to buy it back in. Because I do plan to buy back in, but I'm hoping this price decline. I still own shares. Still own a decent amount of shares of this company. I think I own like 30,000 shares. The T God. I wish I bought, I was, I was able to buy it around this price. I put a bid, but it never went through and it kind of took off. Um... In the morning, I I said that I was I was short. I would put a short, a small short on the stock, and you know I would have got burnt because you know the stock took off. So uh, like it shocks me that this stock is taking off. It shows that um, I know that there's a bunch of retail investors in Tigard, and like when I was trying to do a private placement for Tigard before it IPO'd, they required me to have like. A lot of money and you know not not a millionaire but like have really good money so basically all their retail investors the ones that they started off of the IPO which is like in the thousands like three or four thousand they apparently have a lot of money and they're backing up the stock and th this is why the stock price is rising so much at least that's just my opinion I mean what like how I can't justify how the stock grew from literally like two dollars and eighty five cents I think it went all the way to like two dollars and forty cents all the way to almost 475 in two days it, I can't justify it I mean if I had a margin account I'd probably put another short around here too but you know uh, that's just me though uh, I'm more bearish on this company I mean I do hope this company keeps going up just gives Aurora more money to, you know, if they decided to sell out the T-God stock, uh, more money to you know, do their strategy. They could sell some T-God to buy June. So, just saying. Uh, or they could buy another company using the money that uh, there's in T-God because there's other companies out there. I mean, T-God is a good company. Uh, they are kind of behind in production, but uh, there's very few organic companies out there in this world, so... Oh, that kind of reminds me. Shit, I have to redo this video. Do I do, do this video? Oh, uh, fuck it. No, I'll just... So basically, I tried some Abcan product, uh, and it's okay. I give it mediocre. So, just letting you guys know, uh, the Abcan product I tried is okay. Uh, okay, now just for something weird in the middle. Apple, Apple stock, $200. Climbing, uh, I still think the stock's going below 200 I think it's gonna hit 195 I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna hit 180 eventually. This is just my opinion. We'll see what happens, though. Um, yeah, this is my opinion, though. It looks like... Uh, Canopy growth after hours is uh, getting a boost. Uh, it already ran so much today. Uh, I'm happy because I'm up big on this position right now. Well, not big. I'm recovering my money on this position right now. Um, Aurora up, you know, after hours too. Uh, I, I think there's the anticipation for tomorrow because, you know, there's the midterm elections tomorrow, so all these stocks are rallying. And then next week, on November 14th and November 15th, is when Aurora and Canopy will be announcing their earnings report. Let's look at bar charts for a second. Bar charts. I know for Aurora, 
I know for a royal for a fact that it's gonna be November 14th because Cam Batley came out and said it. But I don't know about Canopy. What does it say here? It says the 14th. Oh my god. If Aurora and Canopy are announcing uh If Aurora and Canopy are announcing uh, earnings on the same day, that would be crazy. That would be crazy. That would be an exciting day. Uh, I have at least this is my just my opinion. Er, both companies announcing earnings on the same day. I don't know if this is accurate, but I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's around this time frame, but I don't know if Bojan's got it accurate. Let's see Aurora. See, Boy Joy got a royal accurately. It says the 8th, but uh, it's obviously not the 8th. It's going to be the 14th because that's what Cam Batley said. He came out and said it. So, Afria won't be having a report. They just had one not too long ago. So, I think their report is going to be in like the December time frame or in the January time frame. I'm not too sure, but. If when they read when they announce those numbers, African numbers should be pretty good. I think it's gonna be in the hundreds of millions. I think they're gonna be announcing a quarter that at least a hundred plus million dollars in one quarter. I, that's what I believe Africa is gonna report. We'll see what happens though. Micro waste technologies had some interesting news today. It had a weird weird pop and then a big sell off. So that was pretty crazy. Uh, they announced like they had a bunch of they they hired a bunch of people. One for business development. Uh, they hired an engineer and they hired somebody for um. I guess for like investor relations. So, you know, management is very important, and by hiring people, these guys seem very skillful from. From what I, re I, I read, they have a lot of experience and a lot of background. So let's see if the, uh, the ha let's see, I'm, I have a good, like, I have a very long-term vision on Micron. I believe Micron is going to be a pretty good company considering the fact that they're only worth $35 million. I can easily see this market cap being $70, $120 million in, in the short term, so... Not the short term, sorry, the long term. So I can see this stock going to a dollar easily. Just my opinion. We'll, we'll see. I mean, uh, once they start selling units to licensed producers, I think the stock should be like above 60 cents. Once they, like, let's say they sold it, let's say they sold a unit to Canopy. Oh, this stock would jump like crazy. <laughs> That's as a dream. I don't know if Canopy will actually buy something from Micron, but that would be awesome if Ca uh, if Micron came out and said they were they got Canopy to buy their product. So that would be pretty awesome. I would have to say if that happened. Uh, I guess that's it for the video. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you'll enjoy this. Subscribe for future updates and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. See you in the next video.